Hi! Today we have again a nice uh, repair uh, to do in the lab and uh, well today we have uh, a nice uh, Mars DX5000 and uh, you know these radios are very famous um, in the CB radio world uh, especially here in uh, Europe so originally this is uh, a 10 meter radio but uh, yeah it is uh, very often used from um, CB operators and uh, well with uh, some uh, modifications this radio works uh, very well but uh, without uh, any modifications yeah you know it is not that good but well so um, a lot of radios are modified uh, because we have uh, some um, radio technicians uh, they are really uh, specialized on uh, this radio and therefore yeah it is uh, very vitally uh, in uh, the market and uh, it is uh, very often used so um, this radio now uh, came in with uh, the fault description that uh, when you switch it on it is directly in transmit so even if uh, the microphone is not connected to the radio so let's see what uh, we find do we have the same finding as uh, the old man who uh, brought it in so yeah let's see and uh, we will uh, try to discover what's going on here so radio is already on the bench and uh, well it is connected uh, to the power supply and uh, I'm uh, now really interested if we have the same finding I mean uh, there is uh, no uh, microphone uh, connected uh, to the radio so um, yeah let's uh, switch it on and uh, see what's uh, happening and oh yeah so you see directly that uh, the transmit uh, uh, LED is uh, switching to red so that means yes transmit mode is already connected and you see this is uh, the SWR which uh, is measured internally and um, when we uh, see our uh, wattmeter you see that uh, we transmitting uh, power so let me uh, adjust the output power and you see yes even uh, uh, with the lowest power so it is not power dependent um, it is definitely directly going into transmit mode so okay that uh, is uh, sure now and uh, well so uh, let's crack it open and uh, see what's going on inside yeah we are in and uh, well uh, as I already said this uh, radios are very often modified in uh, different ways and uh, well uh, this radio is modified as well so you uh, may see all uh, these little uh, wires here uh, inside and uh, that are um, modifications which uh, has been uh, done by uh, somebody so uh, I don't know who did it but uh, it is uh, absolutely clear this uh, radio has been modified so um, that is very important to know because uh, maybe that uh, something with uh, the modification went uh, wrong after uh, a time of use so uh, we need uh, to uh, consider this um, this uh, possibility and uh, well but first of all let me uh, open this uh, uh, it is a kind of shield that uh, we can get access to um, the 
microphone um, connector and uh, well what uh, you can uh, see here it is uh, one two three four five it is a six pole uh, connector and uh, originally here is a four pole um, connector normally installed so this is uh, modified uh, as well and uh, yeah let me see um, what we can see when we go down here and uh, yeah don't know oops so that is focus is now out um, yeah, maybe you can see it I don't know yeah down down there you see that uh, um, there has been solder work um, so there have been solder work done and uh, yeah for sure this uh, is a modification here you can see that uh, a voltage is connected uh, to this uh, microphone uh, connector so that is to operate um, an amplifier microphone and so on so okay so this but but anyway this here is uh, the connection uh, from the microphone uh, connected to the main PCB so first of all let me disconnect it so now uh, the new uh, connector is uh, completely disconnected from main board and uh, let me see if uh, we have still um, directly uh, power output when we switch it on okay so um, yeah as uh, I said it is now disconnected and let's uh, switch it on and no that is not the problem so you uh, can uh, see that uh, we have uh, power and uh, yeah the power LED is on so something different uh, must uh, have happened uh, to uh, the radio huh? let me reduce the power level a little bit so we do not need to get the radio hot okay so let me uh, see uh, the PCB uh, underneath um, I want to flip it over and uh, yeah let me uh, see what uh, we can find there okay also uh, here you uh, can see uh, modifications uh, which has been done and uh, what you can see as well um, this here is uh, the bottom uh, side of uh, the connector we have uh, disconnected from uh, the uh, microphone uh, jack so um, you see this is uh, the bottom side and what you can see as well is we have diodes here, switching diodes and um, mm, you know um, this is something we uh, need to check a little bit uh, more and um, yeah maybe that uh, something is wrong with uh, this uh, diodes okay so uh, I placed the uh, the meter here so that uh, you can uh, read the display a little bit I have uh, set uh, the uh, multimeter to diode test and uh, well let us uh, check what we can uh, see here so this here is the first diode and um, ah, come on 735 so this uh, seems to be good and uh, into the other direction yeah so it is in circuit so um, that is uh, not really saying a lot but anyway let's uh, check the next one okay so this looks like a short in uh, both 
yeah, in uh, both directions. And uh, hmm, so if this has nothing to do with uh, the circuit uh, as well, because it is still in circuit, and uh, we need uh, to um, desolder it. So let me go a little closer that you can see it a bit better. Uh, so uh, this uh, diode here showing uh, symptoms of uh, a short. So, but it is still in uh, the uh, circuit. So let me unsolder it, and yeah, let me take it off like this, and. Um, now we should uh, really have a good diode if uh, it was uh, something in conjunction with uh, the circuit but uh, well hmm, yeah let me let me see and ah come on this diode is dead in both direction ah come on this uh, would be an easy fix i thought it is a little bit more interesting but uh, directly hmm okay but anyway um this uh, diode has a short for sure so let me um test what uh, we have right uh, now and uh, yeah let so diode is uh, disconnected and um ah I have to plug back uh, the radio to the power supply and uh, let me switch it on and aha uh -huh. so now it is in receive it is in receive so that means yeah the diode uh, made the problem um, okay so let me replace uh, the diode so that uh, is most likely uh, one N4148. So a very common um, diode used for many different uh, purposes. So this um, I definitely definitely have on stock. Um, yeah, let's uh, replace it and then let's uh, um, let's uh, connect our microphone to the radio and see. If it works. So the diode is uh, out but uh, I have to correct uh, myself so this is not uh, 1N4148 this is a Zener diode with uh, I believe uh, 5.1 uh, volt um, I do not really know what uh, this modification is uh, doing and uh, I don't know uh, really why we have a, a Zena diode uh, in here but uh, anyway um, um, I gonna replace uh, the same uh, diode back uh, into the radio and uh, then hopefully uh, it will uh, work also I have no clue what uh, uh, the guy who did this modification um, has done um, so yeah let me simply uh, replace it and uh, see um, if uh, the radio is then uh, fully functionable uh, again yeah and uh, we are lucky so uh, I have uh, some of uh, this uh, Zena diode, so I uh, gonna replace it here uh, into the circuit, and uh, then let's see if the radio will uh, really work again. Okay, so new diode uh, is in, so that uh, has been done, and uh, now let's uh, check if the radio will work again. Okay, so let's uh, say now I just lift it up a little bit so then uh, it is uh, easier for you to see. And uh, yeah, let me switch on. Okay, so we have uh, receive and um, 
it is not directly going into transmit and uh, let's check with a microphone yeah so that is uh, going uh, and working as well so uh, I can see on the tester that uh, we have output power and we have modulation so it is working that's great so okay radio is uh, back together um, I have done some additional tests everything is uh, working so this radio can uh, go back to the owner well it was a short repair and I thought it is a little bit more exciting but uh, yeah it was an easy fix uh, well whatever so uh, maybe uh, you have uh, a similar situation where you have some modifications inside and uh, you do not have uh, the schematic what has been done so you need to try this and that and yeah this was a clear situation where we uh, need to go with a little bit uh, uh, trying here and there okay so that's it uh, we are uh, at the end uh, of our repair and uh, yeah if uh, you like the video would be really good and nice if you would like it okay thank you and uh, catch you next time bye